Okay, hello there, I'm Dennis. Welcome to my channel. And in this video, we're going to go over Spiral Linux. Spiral Linux is based on Debian. No Debian Ubuntu or any other distribution. It's strictly based on Debian. Its country of origin is in the United States. So let me switch over to my desktop here and bring up their web page. This is their spiralinux.github.io. And here's where your journey will begin, Spiral Linux. And I would suggest you read some of this stuff. It's actually fairly interesting. Has VirtualBox support right out of the box. Why is there another Debian-based distro? And they do a pretty good answer right here, give you a pretty good answer. So a little right here, if you just click on download, it brings you immediately down to the bottom of the page or near the bottom here. This is where you'll get your download. And it comes in several spins, the Cinnamon, XFCE, Gnome, Plasma, Mate, Budgie, LXQT, and a builder that you can download. From what I understand, you can download and use that to uh, make your own ISO, build your own system. So I got the XFCE, and that's the one we're going to look at. The second page, well, let's look at DistroWatch. It says they're based on Debian USA. Spiral Linux is a selection of desktop spins built from Debian GNU Linux with a focus on simplicity and out-of-the-box usability across the major desktop environments. That's a good blog. <laughs> All right, so here is their GitHub page, their wiki, if you will, where you can find a little more information out about them. They, they're showing you here that they use the Synaptic Package Manager, and they do have their own software center. I believe it's the GNOME Software Center. Uh, their release notes here. This this page right here you should read. I, I actually put this completely in my notes because I wanted to be able to read it uh, again if I wanted to without, you know, without bringing up a web page. So, notable changes. It tells you about they're using pipe wire configuration, mouse and touchpad controls, how to upgrade. Right here, how to upgrade Spiral Linux, it says to upgrade Spiral Linux 11, installation of Debian 12, which we don't have that to worry about. This would how you do it. You'd go into your app sources list and replace the, what's there with this one, but that should be done. At this point, it does come with ButterFS as default. Let me bring up my notes because I'm there's something I wanted to point out. It's right there. Important Rufus. Okay, the Debian 12 version of the Software and Updates Center GUI tool has a significant unhandled bug that prevents it from enabling the Debian. Security Updates Repository. Additionally, there is a new non-free firmware Debian repository component that needs to be enabled manually. Users have that upgraded. Users that have upgraded to Debian 12 with Synaptic and the Software Updates GUI should use the File Manager's Edit as Root function as that is provided by default. In other words, sudo is provided in all editions of Spiral Linux to replace the contents of Etsy app sources list with these. I don't know why they made the release without including these already in there. We'll see. We'll look and see if that's in there. Okay. Let's go ahead and get it started here. Bring up my virtual box. I got it set up with six gigs of RAM, two cores of the processor. I did enable the EFI. All right, first screen, can't really see any differentiation. I'm pushing up an arrow down keys. I don't, can't tell that it's changing. Okay. So I'm just going to hit enter. I don't, couldn't tell which one of those was highlighted, if at all. Now that may be a virtual box thing. Probably is. All right, let's see if we can. Well, is it going to load a desktop? Fast forward. There we go. 
<laughs> okay, so this is XFCE, and you got the whisker menu there. Let's change this resolution. 16 by 9 is not going to be available. This one will be. Keep it close. All right. So the installer is on the desktop. Let's go ahead and get that started, but let me bring up a terminal first. And let's make sure that it's seeing the right hard drive. SDA, that's it, 59 and a half gigs. All right, let's go ahead and start the installer and then we'll go through the menu while it's installing. Calamaris installer. Spiral Linux support is an option. Open help and support websites. Release notes. These release notes are on the web page as well. All right, let's see if I can get lucky. Oh, got lucky. All right, America, Chicago, you pick, uh, pick your region and zone. Keyboard here's good. Uh, let's see what it'll do. If I say swap, no hibernate. So it'll give me five, almost six, probably five gigabytes. This is showing in gigabytes. Oh, that'll probably work in a VM. Now, normally I would break, do my own partitioning and I would have a root partition and a home or data partition. I'm going to leave it just like that and say, okay, with ButterFS. All right, we're not going to log in automatically in the VM. If I was sitting at home, that might be a different story. If I was putting this on real hardware for me to be continually using at my home, that's probably what I would do, but I'm not going to. All right, here's a summation of everything that's going to happen. Let's, let's click install. Got a little effects going on there. So it's creating the partition. It's going to uh, create a file system on those partitions, which it's doing right now, I believe. Let's see, is there a debug so we can see what's going on? Not really. I guess you could start it from the terminal and get that readout. So it's unpacking. Let's look through their menu. Like I said, this is the whisker menu. Set it up any way you'd like. Under the menu, we got accessories. We got application finder, archive manager, bulk rename, clipboard manager, gnome disk by default. Huh, that's a nice choice. You can see the partitions that it's set up. Uh, install firmware, calculator, light dim settings so you can adjust your login screen, menu editor, that's probably the Libre menu. What does there know about? Settings, maybe. Oh, that's application finder. Oh, it says right there, menu Libre <laughs> on the header. My bad. It's blazing through the installation, getting to the bootloader already. Mouse pad, network tools, screenshot, sensor view, snapper for for backups, Thunar and the task manager. Under graphics, we got a scanner, a viewer, drawing, which LibreOffice, Restretta image viewer, Shotwell for organizing your photos. By default, we got Firefox ESR, Pigeon, a chat service, Thunderbird for mail. Transmission for torrent downloads under my uh, multimedia Firefox Clementine <laughs> Pulse Audio VLC. Nice. So we got a lot of codecs come in with just that. Under Office, we do have the full suite of LibreOffice. Other, we got language support and backup tool. Under System, Decomp Editor. Can I stretch this up? Yeah. GDEB package installer, so that's prepared for you. If you like dev packages, that's that's it right there. Uh, GNOME software as root, Gparted, Grub customizer, HTOP, install Spiral Linux, the LightDM greeter settings, a multi-writer for USB drives. Let's see what that is. I don't know. It's kind of unusual looking. Uh, 
It is no multi rider. <laughs> All right. We're getting close to being finished here. Let me get through. We're in the system. Go down to the bottom. We got the terminal, users and groups, time and date, file manager, task manager, synaptic software, sensor view, print settings, network tools, and where's where we left off. So I'm going to go ahead and just click restart. Normally I would click shut down and then remove the ISO, but I'd be willing to confirm. Yep, just disappeared. Took the ISO out on its own. Debian Spiral Linux, 6.4. And I don't expect it to remember the resolution. I was going to say for a VM, that's actually loading up pretty quick. Let's do something about that right off. Where are you at? 1440 by 900. Right there. So apply. Keep it closed. Okay, let's see what we got as far as did anything change under accessories. Well, favorites, we got Synaptic Package Manager, the GNOME software is root, software, terminal, uh, applications. Let's go to accessories, application finder. See if I see anything. Firmware was there. Calculator was there. Man, uh, tools. Task manager. Seemed like there was something. No, it looks complete. Snapper. Under graphics, we had a scanner, a viewer, drawing, and Shotwell and Restretto. Under internet, we had Firefox, ESR. So none of that's changed. Here, nothing changed. Under office, we still had the full suite. Language support and Snapper for setting up snapshots. Under system, the competitor, multi rider. Yeah, I believe this is all the same. Let's uh, spring up a terminal. We'll see how it busted up the hard drive. Boot EFI, home partition, and swap. DF hyphen TH should show us butter FS. It does. You name hyphen A. We'll do that again. Let's see if I can make that a little bigger. <laughs> uh, you name 6.4. All right, Debian. Bookworm. So let's see, what was that at? App sources list. Probably in my notes. Yep, I'm pretty sure it is. Let's see. App sources list right here. That's my note. So let's go here and say pseudo nano Etsy APT sources list. Give it my password. And main contrib. Now, if we could compare that, where was that at? Was it here? Yep, right here. So let's just start with the top one there Debian, bookworm, contrib, non free, non free. Debian, bookworm, control. Got security, but we're the last one back ports. So all that has been updated. That's nice. Let's get out of here. Let's see. Let's see if Neo Fetch is installed. One thing we need to do is check for updates. And rather than do it in a terminal, let's bring up GNOME software as root. Get rid of that. And typically I would do an update through the terminal. I don't, I don't, I've run into problems using GUIs. And it's going to take this one forever to load, but you can see on my network monitor down there, it is reaching out. Epix. Other. 
Okay, come on. Checking for updates and loading everything. It actually is going to be up to date, I believe. If not, there won't be much. If it'll ever load. <laughs> This could take a while. You think? Come on. I mean, I hadn't installed anything. My own project. Software repositories and update preferences, which I would turn them off in here. I, like I said, I would use the command line and it would be faster here to do it. I think we've all seen this. I'm going to go ahead and just close out of that. Let me see. Control Alt T, bring up a terminal. It does not. The Windows button works, though. So, in Debian, it would be sudo yep, apt update and oops, sudo apt upgrade. Up guard, that won't work. <laughs> that won't work either, Sido. <laughs> now, that's much faster. And again, you can see on my network down here, it is reaching out. So while that's doing that, let me just show you this here. This is my host machine that we're looking at the VM on, Gen 2 Linux, on the Dell Optiplex 7010 Mini Tower. Let's see, one more thing here. Today is the 3rd of October. I installed on this machine, I did install it first on a regular hard drive, and I, I had a SSD, so I'm, I was successful with that install, so I went ahead and installed it on this SSD, by right here we got zero for a readout, that means it's an SSD, it's on UEFI boot, with the Gen 2 kernel, free memory, I give it 8 gigabytes of swap, it's got 32 gigs of RAM on a 450 500 gig SSD but that's not spiral Linux <laughs> I'm sorry I'm surprised this is taking that long because it should be fairly up to date already but it is see nothing newly installed nothing to remove okay that's spiral Linux we'll go ahead and shut this down based on Debian, again, should be very solid. And it seems to have a, a good crew behind it. I mean, there's some detailed information on here. Spiral Linux, close out my virtual box. And let's go back to the main screen here. So that's Spiral Linux based on Debian. It seems to be I mean, it installed, you've seen it just installed, and, and it was rather quick in a virtual box. I thought, I can only imagine it would be even a little faster on real hardware. You saw that the repos were already relocated or adapted for us, and we didn't have to worry about that. I did get impatient with the GNOME Software Center, but <laughs> what could I say? You've seen that the terminal did all of that. And, but sure, I didn't get to see all the available software, but you know it's there. So I guess that's going to do it for this video. Just a quick video on Spiral Linux based on Debian. Check it out. Peace out, guys. Bye.